What's up, Domino community? I'm in Greece right now, and I'm doing a huge Domino project at an event. This is the Summer Nosos Festival. It's at the Stavros Nikaros Foundation Cultural Center, and it's an amazing space. I believe this entire building is solar powered. I'm gonna be building for about four hours per day from Sunday through Thursday. And I'm also gonna be doing some workshops here from 6.30 to 8 so people can come in. I'm gonna teach them how to build dominoes. We'll make one large project on the table. Let's knock it down. And a surprise is Erno Rubik is actually gonna be here. Like he's the guy that invented the Rubik's Cube and he's gonna knock down the dominoes on Friday. So it's gonna be so cool. We're also gonna be on a panel together. I don't even know what we're really gonna talk about but it's like super cool. Like Erno Rubik and Dominus. Super crazy. All right, so this project is pretty big structures project. This is the plan. It's pretty much a ton of structures. It's gonna start really small with maybe just like a domino line, and then it's gonna get gradually taller and taller. And by the end, the last structure I believe is about six and a half feet tall. This is the official domino count. There's probably gonna be 7,283 dominoes. I brought about 8,000 in one, two, three boxes. We brought these on the plane, checked as luggage, and this is a separate larger plan for this structure which I'm gonna build first. So I need black, I need white, and I need gold. Let's start building. All right, so I'm building tower K first. I'm building that one first because it's the second tallest, so it's pretty risky. And in case I run out of time, I won't do the very last tower, which is tower L. Probably will have time for that. But just in case, K is the most risky, it's really tall, and it's the least structurally sound, just because it's so tall and skinny. And you know my luck with towers, right? Yeah. This is the same kind of tower as the one that failed. Now I'm gonna start with the base. It's centered right here with the time lapse. All right, so it's day two now, and as you can see behind me, I've started this tower. It's a pretty cool design. It has like diagonal stripes of white and gold that go up. Today, I'm gonna be building a bit more. Hopefully, I can start on the second tower that goes behind it, and the third tower. We'll see how timing goes. Also, fun fact, I added my business cards right here. It's on the glass window, and now when people walk by, they'll be able to see. Oh, it's Hevish Five. She's a domino artist. Oh, look at that. That's how you can contact me and follow me on social media. Okay, so I'm building the tower and I'm really dumb and I actually messed up the design. See that gold stripe at the top? That's supposed to be angled this, oh, I'm like, I just messed up again. That stripe right there is supposed to be angled this way rather than this way. It's like a diagonal going this way, left, right, like all the way up. And I totally spaced that. It was kind of on autopilot. So I think I have to take down all of these rows and then rebuild that section. See, this is what happens when you don't really pay attention. You just start building. Always think about what you're building and don't make mistakes like I do. rebuild as fast as I could unbuild. So these are all the dominoes that I just took off and now I need to replace them the correct way. So I've basically finished the first tower so far. Here it is. So I'm leaving a few dominoes down here at the bottom and later I'm gonna actually build them on the top but I need to tape one of the dominoes to a string so that string will be pulled and then that'll release one of the dominoes in the top which will actually knock down the tower. And I'll probably do that once I finish the next tower right next to it. This next tower, Tower J, is pretty straightforward. Now, looking at the plan, J has 320 dominoes, so much less, and it's a much easier pattern to build than this one. This is the hardest one. And because it's gradually getting shorter now, it's gonna be much faster, hopefully, to build the rest of these. Let's get some dominoes for this, and I'll put it right over here. Test. Oh, whoa. Okay, when I knocked down that tower, the domino bounced off the ground and it pushed this domino in. Do you see that? I need to fix this now. That was scary.
All right, so I finished the second tower now, and it makes this like crisscrossing pattern with stripes of pink and white all the way up here. Towards the top of it, I had to make the spacing a bit closer compared to down here, just because I think some of the dominoes are really uneven, so it's becoming kind of unstable. Putting it closer together sometimes makes it a bit more stable. This is only like five feet tall. Like I'm just wondering why is it so uneven already? It's not the floor. Like what? That should not be happening. Welcome back. It's day three and progress is going a bit slow. I will admit everyone here like wakes up super late and stays up super late to avoid the sun and the heat just because it's like really hot outside. So we've been getting here at like two every day and uh, I met Erno Rubik and he's super cool, super funny guy, really smart and we're gonna be on a panel later today. Brian Berg, the card stacker is gonna be there. There's some speed cubers and I'm gonna be building a tower on one of the stages there. Right now while I'm waiting, I'm going to start the next tower. Then it's tower I and that's gonna be a half 2D pyramid. I has a base of seven. It's 4.3 feet tall and it has about 745 dominoes. Wow, I can't believe it's actually messed up again. This is supposed to be orange all along the bottom, but for some reason I put black here. So now I need to remove this and replace that with orange. Always read your plan. All right, I'm almost done this 2D half pyramid. We have a triangle design with upside down triangles in black, and we got a few more up here. Okay, it's day four and now I'm on the fourth domino wall. This structure is a combination of a double wall and 2D half pyramids on top of it. So all four of these walls that come out have just a normal domino wall and then the half pyramid on top right here. And pretty much it's going to go in this spot right here. I've marked out the general area. I'm trying to avoid this because there's like an outlet plug here. But it should look really cool. It's in fire colors. And I don't know if anyone's done this structure before, so I'm really excited to build it. Welcome to day five. We are getting there. I've just finished this fire structure. It's a normal wall with another wall, 90 degrees. And we have 2D half pyramids going on top of it. I'm not entirely happy with how it came out. I wish I had made the base a bit longer so that these triangles would be taller instead of just a short little triangle here. But I think for the next one, I'm actually gonna make the base longer than it should be. And it should still be around that height. So it'll be a little bit shorter, but it'll be wider. Moving on to G, this is a double wall with uh, triangles going in the opposite inverse direction. So instead of going out towards the back of each of these these panels it's going in towards the center of the structure and I think I'm going to change the colors so that the blue is on the outside rather than the inside and white is on the inside just because the inner color of this one is a light color yellow and the darker color on the outside is red I think that'll match a little bit more and I think the dark blue will especially pop out even more clear on this white floor rather than if white was the outside color of the pyramid all right, it's day six. This is the final building day, and we're gonna knock it down tonight. Erno Rubik is gonna knock it down, and I need to really finish this setup because today is actually the last day. So let's go build. I changed the color pattern slightly for this design. Instead of having stripes that go from the white to the blue to the dark blue, it's actually gonna have dark blue, space of white, light blue, space of white, and then it's gonna keep going for each of these four panels. And I need to make it just a bit more tall, probably up to like that height if I can. And then after that, I think I have two more structures, maybe three, and then it'll knock down the final big tower at the end. There it is. This structure is now complete. This is the next tower, Tower F.
This is actually a super fast build. It's pretty much the diagonal wall method connected by a normal wall, like column technique method on the corners. And it looks pretty sweet. I left a space here so I can tie a string to this one. Otherwise I'd have to like try to tape something to a domino that's already in the structure. And that's pretty risky. So I'll do that at the end and then fill in this little section later. But now it's pretty easy from here. Okay, I've finished this structure. I've never actually built this structure before, but pretty much it uses the 3D pyramid technique, but then you use almost like the cube technique, also known as the pyro wall technique on the edges to make it have a vertical side rather than a slanted side. I ran out of orange, so I switched to gold and then yellow and then white for that last one. And I think I need to make this tower bigger now because it's almost as tall as the other one. So I'm gonna add a few more rows to this and then two more small ones right there. I should be good. Okay, this is the next structure. We have the speed pyramid and then I'm gonna do one more small one and then probably just a domino line over here. Okay, the setup is done now. So it starts over here with just a simple domino line and then it gradually gets a little bit taller, a little bit taller, more complex into the 3D structures. 2D half pyramid and then some giant towers. I'm now connecting everything with white domino lines so that it blends in with the floor. We got some safety gaps just in case I knock them down. And now I have to add the string dominoes and attach that to right there. So now the string on the top of this pyramid is going to fall, which pulls out that green domino and eventually knocks over this entire tower. That's how I'm going to connect all the rest of these larger towers over here. Okay, so that last tower didn't fall, but hey, it's okay. The crowd still loved it. I had a good time. I hope you had a good time watching. The Behind the Five video of me meeting Erno Rubik is up, I think, so you can click on this link somewhere over here to watch that. And if you're new to this channel, this is the H5 Domino Community channel where we kind of just come together and talk about our love for dominoes and I feature other builders and it's kind of a fun place for anyone who's into the world of dominoes. So if you enjoyed, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications because I post on this channel every single week with additional content where, you know, we go really in depth about the details of building dominoes. So go subscribe. And I also have a newsletter. So if you sign up, at hevish5.com slash newsletter. You'll get a monthly email of all the awesome things going on in the community like domino events, domino clubs, um, ways that you can get involved and be featured on this channel. We work really hard on it and I think if you like dominoes, you'll like it. So go subscribe to that as well. Link is in the description. I'm hevish5 slash lily and keep on building.